So now that you know all that you need and all that you need to get, let's learn some of the basic techniques in drawing and construction in mathematics. Number one, drawing a line. Draw a line 12 centimeters long. For the sake of this video, I will use a red pencil that you'll see it easily. The first thing you do is draw a baseline. It could be any length, just make sure it's over 12 centimeters long. This line needs to be lighter than your final line. I hope you can see that. Next up, you take your compass and measure 12 centimeters on your ruler. So what you'll do is put the point at zero and roll up the, comp the compass to 12. Now 12 is a really long length. I'm just using a long length for the sake of this video. Normally you'll have sizes like eight and seven to do. Select a starting point on your line. Put the compass there and draw your mark. Now, when using your compass, you'll need, only need to make one pass once your compass is good. But I'm making a few so that you can see it in the video. So, that line from there to there, it's 12. Darken the final line. And if needs be, name the line. Well, they didn't give the line a name in this, but I just give it a name. Okay, next point. Next up, bisecting a line. When we bisect the line, we expect to get a point in the middle or even a perpendicular bisector of the line. Let's see how we'll do that. So I'm using this compass for the sake of this video. Put at the beginning of the line, put your compass point at the beginning of the line. Open to a little more than half. Remember when using your compass, never to press on the side with the pencil or with the point that's drawing. Press on the side where the point is stabbing the paper. That's the part you want to press. Draw an arc, next side, repeat the process with the same size arc. Notice I'm keeping the weight on the point and allowing my hand to freely guide this part, right? So as you can see, we have two points of intersection right here and right here. Don't make no dots in the point of intersection in your exam. Eh? This is for demonstration purposes only. Um, demonstrative. So we draw a line through the points and we have now bisected the line. This is a perpendicular bisector. This is actually 90 degrees. Incidentally, this is a way to construct a 90 degrees angle as well. Wow, 10 o'clock in the night and they're giving a death announcement. Alright, next up. The death announcement passed, so we can go ahead with this. The next thing you need to know is how to bisect an angle. I hope I spell bisecting correct, somebody can spell check that. Alright, so bisecting an angle, you stick your point there. And you create an arc. What, is, what, what happens here is that you want to cut both. You want to cut both of the lines. That the ang both of the arms, that's the proper word, arms of the angle. So let that compass just go through there. Now, as I said, only pass a compass once during the exam. Feel free to turn your paper any way you want, but only pass a compass once. I'm just doing it a hundred times so that you could see it, so that the camera picks it up. All right. So where it cuts, two points will be created. One point there, one point there. What we are gonna do is stick our compass there. We can move our compass a little bit. I would normally make it a little smaller, right? And then you come now and you stick your compass there. All right, this is too small, so I, I can see that's too small. Maybe about that length there. And I'll create an arc. So once I create the first arc, I can't move my compass again. Stick my compass there, make an arc. Where the two points, where the two arcs intersect, that's gonna be the point I want to draw my line through. So, using my ruler, I can come there and you see why a clear ruler is important so that you can see what's going on beneath the ruler. This 
is effectively bisecting an angle you have just split the angle into two equal parts all right next up next up let's check out how to construct a 60 degrees to construct a 60 degrees let's try to construct one at the point a given we already drew a baseline and then darkened our line a b let's try to construct a 60 degrees at the point a and then we'll try to construct a 60 degrees at the point b well we wouldn't try we will we will do it so all right um stick your compass at a and when i say stick your compass i mean the point departed eh? so you're sticking the point part at a you open it out a decent length a fair amount and this line that you draw let it be light remember to only pass a compass one time one neat time where it cuts with the line you stick your compass there again it is important that you keep your compass the same length that it was so don't go interfering with the compass length now otherwise you'll get a wrong angle so you come now and you stick your compass here and you draw again now you see i'm pressing on on the point not on the part where i need to draw that helps keep the compass accurate so where it cuts there that's where i want to pass my line to and that is going to be that's where I want to pass my line through and that is going to be 60 degrees so passing my line through that point I have 60 degrees there normally in a CXC question this line will go up and meet some line here and you have a triangle and you feel good all right so it's easy to do one at B now open your compass to length draw an arc it's a two arc process then come at the way you cut come at where you cut the baseline here draw an next arc and where the two arcs intersect is our 60 degrees so I can use my protractor to verify everything that I have done this is actually 60 degrees here's a secret tip you can do if your angle is always coming out bend take your protractor before you do any construction if you know you have to construct a 60 degrees at a take your protractor and make a mark where the 60 degrees is supposed to be now in the question you're not supposed to use your protractor so you still need to show your construction lines but who's who's there to watch you when you are using your protractor no no one so take your protractor and make a little 60 degrees there now go ahead with the construction of the 60 degrees one arc But before I draw the second arc, I will draw my actual 60 degrees through my point that I got on my protractor. So that's the actual 60 degrees there. So now I know when I come with this other arc that it should pass through this line. If it doesn't, I can just shift my compass a tiny bit to suit. So if my compass is off, I, if my compass is off, I can just shift it to suit so that all my construction lines look nice and perfect. Remember to use this technique in your exam. The simplest way to construct a 90 degrees at a point is to bisect a 180 degrees. So what I will do is lengthen this line using a light construction line. Ah, straight mount ruler. Ruler, ruler. All right. So I lengthen that line using a light construction line and take my compass and use the technique that I learned from bisecting an angle one cut, two cut, same length let me darken that so you can see it one two hopefully you got a good look at that there now I open my compass to a wider length so I can go up there before I draw my 90 degrees I'll use my protractor to help give me a little secret guide that's between me and myself not between me and the examiner and I will draw a light line here so I know my nine sorry I know my 90 degrees should pass through that line next up I come open to a reasonable length cut there open to another reasonable length cut there and my line should pass through the 90 degrees now all that's left for me to do 
is darken my 90 degrees. I hope you understood what I just did. 90. All right, so that's the simplest way to construct a 90. In your textbook, you may see a kind of method that looks like this. I'll just do it for doing its sake. Where they do like this, then they make 60. Another 60 would make it 120. They allow this line to go up there and we bisect that. And it should land on the 90 degrees right there. All right, so that's it for today's video. Remember these tips, use the best equipment. I forgot to include, you need a good eraser. So you want to use a good eraser when you're doing this question. Use a protractor as a guide throughout the question show all construction lines and let your construction lines be light so look out for the next video on this topic where i actually do questions and do a, i'll try and do a good few construction questions so that you can see how to put all the techniques into action